This is something I've never really reviewed before as far as reviewing something that came from Patriot Studios. So I have no idea how the quality of these figures are going to be. But I'm a big fan of Resident Evil. I love the original video games, uh, you know, at least as far as like the earlier ones, like 1 through 3, maybe 4 and Code Veronica. But when I saw like the B.O.W. Evolver, you know, uh, I forget the other name. I think it's Liquors uh, that... You know, I saw that and I was just like, oh my God, I got to get this. No idea how this toy company is. So, but I just really, really thought I, I needed to get this. And I never knew that this stuff existed. So I'm very excited to review these figures. Uh, so we have also the RPD uh, zombie officer. Uh, so these actually come in a very nice box. Like this is some beautiful artwork. I really think this is cool. And then see the figure in the back patriot studios on the side here some more interesting stuff here uh and i think you see claire i think that's right there on the side so that's really cool yeah these are very beautiful and as far as package goes so i'm gonna go and take these guys out and let's see how they are okay here are the figures outside the box and wow these guys are amazing um Right off the bat, I could just tell you guys, if you want Resident Evil figures and you wish a line were going to have it, Patriot Studio is the one to go to because these guys are just, you know, they're, they're getting that itch. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go over the officer uh, first. So he's actually uh, uses soft cloth goods, you know, and there's a lot of dirt going around these. So it's really like uh, weathered, you know, you got some blood on the shirt here. And it's, um, you know, you got a nice RPD badge here. This seems like a piece that's like glued on. This seems kind of more like printed than the front badge, which would be accurate, you know. Uh, it, it seems like it's sewn on there, like a real patch. Looking up, you know, you got just a real great uniform altogether here. This figure is just fantastic looking. Now, all this stuff does come off. It's actually, you have to put it together. You have to put the gun in the holster. You know, you got to put his walkie-talkie in. But let's go and look at some of his accessories up close a little bit. Uh, this is like the walkie-talkie. Uh, if I can have it focus, it's probably going to be a little difficult. Sorry if it ain't. Uh, but you have a nice little green uh, screen here. Kind of like how you would see with the walkie-talkie. But you got some other cool little trinkets here i think this is supposed to be his like flashlight uh, i'm not sure too much looks almost like a silencer but i think that's supposed to be his flashlight then the holster you know you pull out the gun you get a nice little revolver here so that's pretty bad uh i mean bad in, in a good way the hat gets to come off so you get a really good looking figure here i love this this head sculpt here this is just amazing this is just, you see this nice glossy blood all over here. You see parts of this dude's skull. It just <laughs> looks really, really cool. I love the attention to detail here. And, you know, if you wanted to take some of this stuff off, you could. Um, and the figure has some nice articulation in here, too. So he can go back, bend pretty far. So he's got some great articulation. You know, you want to put him sitting down or something. Now there is a downside with this figure though, because there is no articulation where the wrist is. You're kind of stuck there. And you know, when you have the arms down, the, the, the joints here where the elbows are, it's pretty ugly. It's not it's not the best sight, I'll say that much. Um, you know, you I just wish they did have something a little bit different for that, but you know, I get it. You know, these independent toy companies, you know, there's not gonna be 10 out of 10 all the time, right? But that's okay, this figure, is really exceptional for all these other things that it, it's working with you know it's got good neck articulation it's pretty good they don't mess with the sculpt here the neck will move itself so it's not like it's got a cut around the head the the paint applied here is just wow that's that's fantastic this, this is a cool looking figure here this is awesome like that's pretty good detail uh, definitely a, a nice looking uh, figure here. It does come with a photo of Rebecca Chambers, uh, and that's very nicely detailed. They pulled that in there. So uh, that that's in the, uh, with the zombie. So that's a pretty cool uh, throw in as well. 
Okay, now on to the liquor. Now, the liquor here is actually having a really good uh, articulation. This figure looks really awesome. Like, it, and it can articulate very, very well. You, you get a lot of positions to put it in and just seeing it how if you wanted to have it in that, you know, crawling phase. See, you just really can move this figure easily. It's not difficult at all. And it can just do so many different types of poses. This is crazy in our articulation. And I think the officer came way before because this just has articulation, you know, you would think that, oh, maybe they're not gonna be able to move their arms, but no, there's wrist hinges and everything. You can change up the position any way you would want. And the head can uh, go up it very well as well. So if I just wanna try to get him to, uh, let's see. There we go. So that's really cool. I think it can articulate very, very well. The claws on this guy are so sharp. Like that's actually kind of poking me a bit. They, they're not, they're not dull at all. It kind of makes me scared that these are just going to break off eventually just because of how sharp they are. There's a few parts that are ugly with the figure. I ain't going to lie that, you know, like right here, especially like that, that just doesn't look good, but I get it. They have to have articulation somewhere, but it's not necessarily in a position you would uh, basically be upset about because most of the time they're in, you know, basically a dog position anyway. So th these these figures are really, really nice. But uh, what they I kind of noticed is that the hands, like for some reason, it, it like it doesn't have enough blood. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but then this right one just seems really, really bloody and glossy, but then this one just seems more bony, and you get a couple extra alternate hands, and they seem kind of average. They seem a little bit like a cross between, maybe a bit more on the bone side, but they're not terrible. It's just this one I noticed is really more bloody, and I feel like that should have been the case for all of them, more on this side, because it really seems to blend in more well with the figure. You also do get a alternate tongue to place in. So like you have a small one and then obviously the long one I put in. That was actually kind of difficult uh, to put in, but it is what it is with it. The back of the figure, you get this nice spine here. You see the shoulder blades. Th these can kind of move a little bit if you wanted to change them up. So that's actually really nice, really cool. Very well detailed, I think. This is so awesome, <laughs> you know, and Obviously, th this figure, you know, I just, I, I didn't realize how cool this was going to be, you know. I mean, I was afraid of buying this, to be honest with you. But but this is so nice, and I can't wait to see more figures of these be made. Okay, here are the figures now standing at the tallest position possible. And they scale very well with Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe classified figures. The two figures you see here are from the G.I. Joe classified line, and I customized a few of them to make them into uh barry and uh made them into chris redfield i did a couple of other ones as well uh and they scale very well with them uh they might be a little bit taller maybe but you know they do scale well with that uh size so if you did have some customs that you used with like legends or classified then they certainly would uh fill up uh more of your uh, selection of characters if you you know wanted to do something like that but Patriot Studios is making more uh, figures. I know they're doing a Leon from Resident Evil 4 and Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. So if you guys want to go and try and find uh, some images there, they, they have them out there. Uh, just search up like Patriot Studio or uh, 5K Toys. I believe they, they posted some stuff there if you want to go check that out. Here next to Nemesis as well with the zombie. W Evolver next to a original one way back then when I got it like in 2003. So uh, definitely a better looking figure for sure. Uh, and much bigger too. So <laughs> way more articulated. So definitely love this uh, new figure here. And here's a comparison with uh, another previous zombie that was like way back in 2003. Um, I forgot the name of the company to be honest with you. So if you guys know it, put that down in the comments because I can't remember. I know it started with a P, but I just, I just can't remember what it was. But this one I believe was based off the same game, just different, you know, suits, you know, uh, you know, so that's 
pr pretty uh, interesting. You know, like you got him in the white, him in the blue. I actually believe there is a, not a Samuel Comic-Con, but some exclusive version where this does have a white shirt. Not too much of a difference for me to want to buy another one. But uh, like everything else was the same, just a different white shirt. Uh, so that is up there on, I think, 5K Toys. So, uh, you know, go check that out. And I believe they have also have the Evolver on there too. So, you know, if you want to go and get those guys, definitely a place to check out and see to get them. That is it with this figure review here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for those who do and you come back, you know, I appreciate you guys so much. That's what helps me and have this channel grow and makes me want to keep on doing this stuff. So, um, you know, those little things really do mean a lot to me. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this review. Uh, if you guys want to know more stuff, where to get these, you know, put it down in the comments. 5K Toys, I know they have these guys up there. eBay as well. I got these guys from eBay, uh, but I got another revolver coming from 5K Toys. I actually discovered that after. So I'm going to be getting a couple of those guys. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you all next time.